You thought your intro was much better than my intro. No, I thought your intro was much better than mine. All right. Well, here we are. <laughs> Chocolate talk number two. Halloween edition. Halloween edition. So what we did, we broke down some of the candy that, that, that they got while they were trick-or-treating this year. And we broke it into groups. We got Mars, Butterfinger, Tootsie Roll, and then Hershey. You know, what we do know from Hershey is that all the lights in the city of Hershey in Pennsylvania are little kisses at the top, which is kind of cool. And there's a cool amusement park that goes along with it, too. You've been there, you remember? I was like, two, no. Well, we got to get started because there's a lot of candy to go through here. There's 15 pieces. 15 pieces. It's, uh, it's a lot. You're going to be rating them. There is a, a left Twix and a right Twix. One is a mini and one is a fun size, if you see the difference, mini fun size. So I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but we're gonna cut some candy here and see where we're at and get it moving. We're rating them from one to 15 on our little chart, one and then 15's over here. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do this. There's 15 pieces and I'm sure you're gonna like things more than I do. And I'm definitely gonna like things yes, We have more to than agree. Okay, well, then the number one candy, we don't even have to go through this, is the Almond Joy. No. Well, you said we have to agree? Okay, we'll figure this out. Right, do we need to wrestle for it? We will. I will lose. Yes. So, <laughs> so I won't know. So right, let's, I, let's we were going to start with a Hershey Kiss. All right, start with a Hershey Kiss. I'm going to start opening the rest of them while you cut Hershey Kiss. Hold on, we got to open them. We got to open them one by one. So this is going to be our wrapper because tin foil is kind of flimsy. Oh, we get a cut. We already know that Hershey is America's favorite chocolate bar Wait. from our last video. No. And it's mucho delicious. I like the there better than, what was that guy's candy bar? Beastable. Daddy, yeah, the Beastable. 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 Oh, that too. <laughs> anyway, this is exquisite. Nice it's chocolate. <laughs> Well, that one goes at number one because it's our first one. <laughs> Truth. Number one. We gotta wash it down. All right. Crack the water. We are not sponsored by this water. We should be, though. So, um, Wellesley Farms, sponsor me, please. <laughs> All right. So, since we started with a Hershey's, we'll go into a Mars next. We'll do a Snickers. Looks good on the inside. So, so the build on a Snickers is pretty awesome. Caramel, this nougat. We got peanuts. It looks like a face. It's pretty delicious. Well, I can definitely see why while you're eating a Snickers, if you're hangry or like Joe Pesci. I think you're talking about. <laughs> Is this one of them ancient time things that I have no idea about? Yep, ancient yeah, times. Here. All right, well. I, I think it's better than a Hershey kiss. <laughs> I think we're moving Snickers into number one just because there's more stuff going on. Peanuts, caramel. And we're going to try a Tootsie Roll That next. nougat stuff. In my opinion, a Tootsie Roll is at number 15. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I'll, so just, far. I'll just eat the somebody's half. Tootsie Roll is one of my favorite candies. I mean, don't get me wrong; they definitely have a place, but it's like it's just a solid piece of like flimsy chocolate. It's like it's not even flimsy chocolate; it's like uh, fudge, chocolate fudge, okay. is what we're going with. I think it just ripped my phone out. <laughs> 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 But, I feel like they taste like nothing, so. I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, Tootsie Roll. Yeah, I don't think they taste like anything. Alright. Do minty next. Do minty caramel. Mm. Minty caramel. Explain. I don't, I was under the impression that this is just it, a dub bar. But it's not. It's a dub bar. Good job. With caramel. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do this next. Now Dub makes delicious chocolate. This one's like minty. I don't think it is minty. 
It shouldn't be minty. Don't it minty. The, the other one was minty. It was like a minty chocolate caramel. Are thing. you sure it wasn't like with a York peppermint patty? If it was a York peppermint patty, I said it with been a, a York silver peppermint silver patty. No. All right, so we got it open. The inside of the wrapper says. It says something. It does. It says book the flight. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Who did comment? Dove chocolate. It's very good chocolate. It's nice and smooth. Very smooth. I gotta be careful because it has caramel in the middle. It does. In my piece. Don't touch that one. Okay, Cheers. so review. Hold on. What? You gotta look inside of it. Mmm. Cut caramel. Okay. No cheers. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> it's it slightly minty. minty. It is slightly minty. Why we don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was sitting on top of a peppermint patty. I go to 14 with that one. <laughs> it's not very good. Which one? It was definitely Why not. Why does it look like there's a mini rabbit turd in there? <laughs> <laughs> <You kiss. laughs> He's we putting rocks on it. He's putting little hold pebbles it. on them for us. To hold them in place. It was definitely not my favorite, but it did have that silky, smooth chocolate. All right. Next thing we're doing is an Almond Joy. I'm choosing. And I'm gonna open a Butterfinger for the next one. Because we can't have a four hour long chocolate tasting video. Look, there's like a weird lump in the middle of it. Yeah, it's the almond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna cut an almond in half? Yes, I am. And I just did. Look at this thing. Doesn't look very good. It looks like it's like weird. It looks fantastic. Oh, we have this beautiful creamy coconut. <laughs> With oh, it's got coconut in it. Okay, I'm gonna hate almond. it. Let's taste it. I kind of like it. Number one. Like Worse than Tootsie Roll. No way. You like, you like the Mr. Beast bar better <laughs> than the Hershey's. Come to an agreement with you at numbers two. And numbers two. <laughs> All right, Hershey Kiss is moving down. So we got Snickers still at number one, Almond Joy at number two. Now we are going to taste Butterfingers. Here we go. <laughs> it's harder than the Almond Joy. The Almond Joy is like almond crunch. In it. <laughs> well, see, that's that's the good part. Is it's like this crunchy peanut butter center if you never had one before what is this uh, butterfinger. butterfinger so it's got that crunchy peanut butter center so it's like peanut brittle inside almost you should have probably done one that one last so you could go get a toothpick <laughs> that's good <laughs> it like filled my mouth it was like one of them packing peanut boxes when you open it it's just like ah a flavor right no because of how much this stuff came out of the one little wafer <laughs> it's good though. We can move that one to number one. Wow, we're gonna move that to number one. Mm -hmm. All right. Put Snickers at number four. <laughs> unless, Ooh, unless of course you, unless four. of course you want to um put it in the Hershey Kiss spot. Clearly, this is an objective tasting. That's why I didn't understand why you would want to try and rate all these candies at one time. We for, we've been forgetting because, to drink our water. You know, depending on what you're having. You know, we're going to eat this Reese's next week. And you can't beat a Reese's because we're going to stick with peanut butter. It's still in the little skirt thing. Okay, here we go. Chocolate and peanut butter, like lamb and tuna fish. Amazing. Like what? Lamb and tuna fish. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> you don't remember from the movie? Big Daddy? No. Was the guy sitting on the couch with his accent? He says, yeah, it's like lemon tuna fish. Don't remember? Yes, I do. I do. Somebody Google it. <laughs> it's totally a thing. Okay, let's eat it. We haven't, we, clearly, we haven't watched Go Daddy and, or Big Daddy yeah. enough. <laughs> Go Daddy. Go Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then that if you're wondering, you can make your Chocolate Talk website at Go Daddy. True. That's definitely better than Butterfingers. 
Hmm. Put Butterfingers in number three. All right, let's move these down here. We're gonna scooch everybody down one. We got. What is this? Almond Joy. Stop. Almond Joy Butterfinger. I want to try the Rollo. We're gonna try this Rollo here. We should have tried that after the go. Mm-hmm. Should have. Should have. Would have. Didn't. tried to open these like nicely because if you remember from the Mr. Beast chocolate bar video I wasn't very nice about it. Here's mm. the um, clip of that. I love it. Okay, I think they're going to want to open this one All right, well I opened mine nicely. Okay, um, so we're going to cut this open. <laughs> He's scared. Spill any blood on this table and we're done. I thought it was going to like fall apart. Chocolate talk will be over. That's pretty good. That's pretty good caramel. Definitely better than the Dove. <laughs> I don't have the minty taste. Mm-hmm. I don't think the Dove is supposed to have that either. But it's just weird that it would pick up so much flavor from being in a little bag. Mm -hmm. I, I vote we put it at number eight. Do the Twix next. Which one? This is the, the left or the right? This is the left Twix. Fun size. Eight, you said? Number eight for the Robo. The reason they have it at left and right, my opinion, is so that you can have one in each hand and just go, ah! <laughs> All right. It's got stuff. It's got what caramel. Kind of stuff? Caramel, cookie. The way that I normally eat these, I can't eat it like this right now because we have to taste it all at one time, but I bite the wafer thing off and then I eat the caramel. <laughs> I do it the other way. Number one. Clearly, you like Twix. I want to cut the, work, the right Twix mini. And let's see if it uh, tastes the same as left Twix. They look the same. Size. Wait, drink water before it. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner. They taste exactly the same. <laughs> if they didn't, it would have been disappointing. Do you disagree? No. All right. So we're gonna combine these two wrappers. Combine them? <laughs> I, I still think the left Twix is better because it was bigger. Mm, Alright. We're moving stuff down again. We're gonna have to do a final rearrange. Twix is good. Let's do Kit Kat. Alright, let's do it. They literally made a song for this candy bar. Yeah. Can we a commercial? No. There's a song. Kit Kat way for I know. I play it, but I'd get copyright. <laughs> I don't want copyright. What? I like that song. It's just the wafer wrapped in chocolate. Nothing to exist. Yeah, there's something special about the wafer. How do you keep it crunchy? It's like a nutter butter, but covered in chocolate. You wrap it in chocolate? We'll put that one at number 10. If you ask me, there's like, you can only you barely put the chocolate. Twix at me. Or... <laughs> I'm laughing so the camera might be a little shaky. Okay, so this is the Mr. Good bar. You know, oh, I think that's where the Twix needs to be. Like, or the Kit Kat, I'm sorry. Because, you know, like, oh. the part that's weird, if you keep opening that, the part that's weird for me about a Kit Kat, and I like a Kit Kat once in a while, and it's definitely a good chocolate fix. It's the like, aftertaste. It leaves a little gritty stuff in your mouth. Like, mm -hmm. none of the rest of them did that. Are you gonna cut that or what? <laughs> no need to wait. I'm just talking. So we got chocolate and peanuts. We're gonna Can't eat beat that. This is peanuts. Mr. Good Bar. Mr. Good Bar. Okay. Mr. Good Bar is an old school standby. But you know, <laughs> we're going to hiccup. <laughs> For Hershey's chocolate, it's definitely not like a Hershey's chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. It's got peanuts in it. But I don't know. But like the chocolate <laughs> don't taste the same. Yeah, it doesn't. Maybe because of the peanut flavor. It tastes a little sweeter. So maybe, maybe that's why, because of the peanuts. Did they put a nut warning on here, though? 
Of course. Precisely. Put it there. They did not. Cut the, cut the Hershey's bar. There, there, there's no nut warning. Where's that go? Number 13. Oh, jeez. I think I fired across the table. It's just a big candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> we already established Mr. Beast bar is better. Opinion, no facts. <laughs> Where is the Mr. Beast minis? Hmm. I'll suggest it to him when I meet him. Got to get past 100 million people first. Actually, now I think it's 106 million people. Okay. Three Musketeer. It's rectangular. Uh huh. Mm. So this isn't my favorite candy bar. It's that's got like a weird marshmallow candy. in it. And I think that's what it is. It's like a chocolate marshmallow, like a chocolate marshmallow with and the chocolate. And when you push yeah. in the marshmallow, it keeps its form, or it doesn't keep its form. It goes right into it. Okay. Like a spongy, I think I would consider it more of a spongy chocolate. There you go, spongy chocolate. I need to Google how to make that. Let me try it. I'm making it. Too good candy bar. I was joking. Okay. Yay. <laughs> this might be the last episode of Chocolate Hill. <laughs> And last but not least, where did it go? Milky Way. I think a, I think it's stuck a, in the back of my throat. Well, you better use some water. I think a Milky Way is a Three Musketeer bar with caramel. Get that out of the way. Okay. Cut it this way because this is the way that the little wave thing goes. Oh, yeah. See the inside of that one. Okay. Like I said, here we go. Three Musketeer bar with caramel. Not like this one because every time I eat it, my jaw cracks and it hurts. <laughs> I think if you had peanuts, it's like a Snickers bar, too. I think it's good. I think it's too many things to taste at one time. Though. Yeah, I think it should go like right below the Tootsie Roll. I think the dump chop is even better than it. You think so? Mm hmm. So now we got to do some rearranging. All right, get rearranging. I don't think we need to do rearranging because I think we could sit here and debate uh, something for both. You know, if you like it more than the next or whatever it is. Like, I mean, we can agree that Twix, Hershey, Reese, Butterfinger, Almond Joy. I, I still feel like Almond Joy should be worse than Tootsie Roll. <laughs> and Snickers <laughs> are the top six on the table, I think. Maybe. I think they have the most stuff going on and the most taste. Yep, maybe. So what's number one? Uh, Twix. I don't think we're going to agree on number one. So, Zachary, yours is... Resounding Twix. Twix. I think my number one Halloween candy. Almond Joy. Is Almond Joy. That, I, I, I didn't like that one at all. It had coconut in it. And it had a weird like lump it. of almond. That's what I'm saying is that you don't have to like it. Your number one could be different than my number one. Yes. This We're not going to sit here one. and agree, mm -hmm. you, you know, to it. Like if we tasted Almond Joy in a mouth <laughs> together, which is an Almond Joy without an almond. Like, then we could agree to disagree on first, or agree to agree on first. Or, if we tasted two candies that were similar to a Snickers, then we could agree on a first. The next. Why are you looking at me like that? 